file. Let's see how to consolidate or merge multiple Excel workbook or worksheets into a single workbook. Let me give you the example. So for now, I have around 20 sample workbooks. Let me open one of the workbook. So the sample workbook has some data. I would like to copy all the workbook data into master spreadsheet. Like this, I have around 20 worksheets or workbook. I would like to copy all the data into this master spreadsheet. So this master spreadsheet has only the headings. It doesn't have any other data. I would like to append all the other spreadsheet data into this master spreadsheet. Let's begin. So here first I have hard coded the path. This is for the master file path. So it's there like this master complete file path I hard coded and this one is for folder path. This is just an this folder path. And next I am opening the master file. The master file I am first you know before the process starts I am opening the master file and next I am looping through each file in a folder. I have used the action as loop for each file in a folder. So we are going to loop through each file in this sample Excel folder. So what will happen is it will loop through all the 20 files, it will read and update it to the master file. So here loop for each file in a folder and folder path mentioned as this line number 3 folder path. And next uh, we have a variable mapping. We need to map file name and extension into a variable so that you can able to open that particular excel file. For an example, if you would like to open first time, if you would like to open the sample one workbook, you need to get the file name and extension, right? Then only you can able to open that workbook. That's the reason we are mapping it. In order to variable map the variable, very simple. First, you need to click on add variable mapping and you need to type the key as name. So, it's automation anywhere defined one. Like for the file name, key is name and for the file extension, it's key. Sorry, extension. Even it's already mentioned. Yeah, in the notes section, you can see access for the name key to access the file name and extension key to access the extension. So what you can do is you can assign the keys. So name into one of the new variable. So I have used str file name. And for the extension, I have used str extension. So this is for the loop. And next I am opening the sample files. So first time it will open the sample one. So for that one, I have used the desktop file and the path str folder path which is the line number third. So that str folder path as well as str file name forward slash str file name dot str extension. So the file name and the str extension is which is getting assigned from this loop logic. So here we assign key name into str file name extension into str extension so at this time it will open the workbook str folder path str file name dot str extension like this we are opening the spreadsheet once we open the first worksheet we are going to assign all the rows all the rows into one of the data table variable so here you can see i have selected the range as all rows and I have assigned this to data table variable and this read caption which is some important thing let me explain you okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 okay so currently the value is 1 2 3 4 5 6 9 0 right but in front of you you can see 1 e plus 0 9 so if you selected this option as read visible text in cell, like even if the value is 50 percentage, it will read as 50 percentage, which means 
it will extract the visible using like object properties kind of that thing and if you want to get the 50 percentage it should read as 50 then you need to click on this option button for an example now if you select the second option then what will happen is variable will get assigned as 1 2 3 4 5 6 9 0 and if you select the first one first option button then what will happen is it will be considered as 1 e plus 0 9 so my suggestion is always try to use read cell value so that it will directly consider 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 instead of 1e plus 0 9 this is not the exact result right we are expecting the numbers full numbers so this is one suggestion so we selected this read cell value assign the session name everything session name already you know that right so for the master i have used the session name as master and for the sample files i have used sample as a session name so we assigned all rows into one of the data table variable table ex excel data and we close that excel workbook since we already assigned all the data into data table variable so we close that excel spreadsheet there we are good next we are going to master spreadsheet already it's opened now we are going to get the total number of rows records total number of records in the master workbook because of we are going to append the values into master spreadsheet so first we should know how many records were already present in the master workbook like uh, even i can give you the one example let me open the master workbook so currently it has only the heading so the count would be one so when we start the process what will happen is it will check the count if it's one then it will increment the value plus one so that the fresh value is getting updated in from second row like that here we have a increment logic so 13 like uh, we are incrementing already existing count plus one so when the first time first time run complete like first time we have 10 records so it will check already there is a 10 records so we, we need to update from row number 11 for that reason we are using get number of rows and incrementing plus one and next one is write from data table so using this method at a single shot you can up update the data into the spreadsheet so you don't need to look through for each rows and update the values so at a single shot we can update all the data table into the particular session like location so we have selected the table excel data we got the tbl excel data variable from line number 9 we have assigned all rows into tbl excel data and here in the right from data table we selected the particular table and enter the worksheet name that's up to you where you want to update the data even you can mention the spe specific street or anything and the specify the first cell like row number a a2 or a3 a4 something like that for that only we got the number of rows from the master workbook so based on that we are updating the data so using this method within few seconds you can able to update the data and even from the workbook worksheet or anything you can do that very simple like we have used data table logic previously we may used loop or through each and every rows getting that values one by one we may update into other workbook but using this data table logic you can update it very simple like very simple as well as if you don't want to copy the headings i suggest to delete the first row from the excel and then uh, you can paste the values that's my suggestion yeah thank you